Mark, antitrust trial that could change the way big tech companies do business now getting underway. Yeah, this big case revolves around Google and whether the Mountain View based company illegally limited online search options. Jolene Kent is at the courthouse in Washington. Google's my best friend. I love Google. Google's your best friend. Yes, Why? I mean, because. Literally, we're walking right now trying to find a pizza place, and I'm Googling it. When you search for something online, a lot of people call it the same thing. I Google weekly. I'm Googling everything. How often are you Googling stuff on your phone? Like 30 times, like every day. But now that popularity and how it came to be has landed Google the company in federal court. The Justice Department and more than a dozen states are taking on the tech giant in a landmark antitrust trial beginning today. The government claims Google illegally pays billions of dollars to Apple, Samsung, LG, and beyond to make Google the default search engine on your phone and computers, shutting out rivals like Microsoft Bing and DuckDuckGo. This, the government says, allows Google to dominate nearly 90% of all searches in the U.S. and 95% of searches on mobile devices. Would you ever change? To where? The government also says Google uses that dominance to charge advertisers higher prices and favors advertising on its own platform and steers advertiser spending towards itself. Google denies any wrongdoing. Is Google breaking the law here? No, we're not. We believe that people use Google because it's helpful. The case comes down to two important principles, competition and choice. Competition, you've never seen more choice, whether that's TikTok or Reddit or Amazon or Expedia. Google's chief legal officer, Kent Walker, also says if a user doesn't want to use Google as the default, they can change it. It really couldn't be easier. It's You can sit at home on your couch and, and change what search engine you're using. It's as easy as changing your shoes. It's as easy as changing your shoes. Well, we, we see lots of people doing it. Is it easy? Definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. Um, I feel like here, you'd probably have to go. See, I don't even know where it is. And for small companies trying to compete for your business online, critics of Google say it's nearly impossible. Google's dominance means that a lot of innovators that might come along in the tech space uh, you know, really can't get a toehold. And if we um, you know, take action against these tech monopolies, really insist that they, um, you know, that, that they cannot uh, be these dominant gatekeepers, we open up the market and we're going to see all kinds of innovations and new developments uh, you know, in, uh, online. This trial is expected to last about 10 weeks. Now, if Google loses, it could pay a fine or even be broken up. And if any of this sounds familiar, the last big antitrust trial was against Microsoft in 1998, the same year a startup called Google was founded.